This is the first bod pod that's available uh, in the Kansas City metro that for the public to use. There are some other academic universities nearby that have them, but they're nestled in uh, the athletic departments and not available to the public. So if someone has some particular goals, whether it be weight loss or maybe they don't want to lose weight, but they would like to increase their muscle mass, they can come in and uh, have the body composition testing done prior to the start of their program, sit down with one of our dietitians, have a tailored program to their needs and their goals, and then we'll test them post to see what changes that they really did see. Hi, my name's Chris. I work at the University of Kansas Medical Center and I volunteered to take part in the bod pod test. The test itself was pretty easy. After having my height measured, I had to make a quick wardrobe change and then step on a scale. Once the bod pod was calibrated, I got inside and just sat still for a couple of minutes. What wasn't easy was hearing the results. I've always considered myself a pretty fit person, so I was really surprised to learn that my body fat percentage was at 22.5%. About the same time as my bod pod test, I found out that my great Dane Doby had gained 15 pounds in the past year. It quickly became obvious that we'd both been spending way too much time on the couch. Since we needed to shed some pounds, I came up with a plan. Eat better and exercise more. For Dobie, that meant switching to a low-fat dog food, adding a long walk in the mornings, and spending more time playing at the park. I adopted a similar plan. My first stop was Kermeyer Fitness Center. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I lifted weights. And then on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I did high-intensity endurance workouts like swimming and running. The second component of the plan required me to examine my diet. I did away with as much processed, fatty food as I could and incorporated more whole foods with lean ingredients. Other than spending more time in the kitchen and the occasional sore muscle, the plan was overall pretty easy to adopt. After three months of doing a fairly good job of sticking to the plan, I was back in a Speedo. Now you've got to make sure your hair looks perfect afterwards. afterwards yeah. yeah. I knew from the scale in the gym that I'd lost weight, but I was really curious to hear the details. The final tally showed a decrease in fat mass of 14 pounds, an increase in muscle of 4 pounds, and an 8% drop in body fat. A few days later, I sat back down with Dr. Hull, and we talked about the advantages of having a bod pod test done. By doing the body composition assessment, you saw that you lost you know, that uh, large amount of fat mass and then actually put weight on in the form of muscle mass. So that's really kind of our ultimate goal. And when we work with the general population, I think you took it a very aggressive route, maybe more than most people could. I would say probably more than I could have. Um, you typically, what our goal would be is to minimize loss of muscle because when weight is lost, there'll be fat mass that's lost and there'll be muscle that's lost too. And so that's just something we try to, if people are uh, active and they're exercising, that'll help attenuate the loss in lean mass. If we measure someone, usually I like to do a three month follow up and uh, usually we can see some changes. So it's very encouraging for people after three months of working really hard and sacrificing to see those changes. In the end, the plan was a success and we've decided to stick to it. Also, I'm happy to report that Dobie lost eight pounds, even though he still prefers the couch.